everyone. I'm your host, David Ritchie, and this is the first ever episode of ACOS, and it's going to be a fast one because this is to tell you what ACOS is all about. If you are someone that I told about it, which is probably the only way you're ever going to listen to it, because I have no idea how you're going to find it, well, I'm going to kind of tell you what we're doing here at ACOS Podcast, okay? So like I said, my name is David Ritchie, and I, uh, I've been a podcast fan since 2009. I stumbled across, I'm a movie, I'm a horror movie junkie, and in 2009, I stumbled across a podcast, first ever podcast, I didn't know what a podcast was, it was, I was late to the smartphone game, I have no idea which smartphone was out in 2009, or if a smartphone was out in 2009, so take yourself back to an iPod shuffle, and I went on a trip, and somehow stumbled across in 2009, a Friday the 13th podcast, it was by somebody called Now Playing Presents. I say by somebody, Now Playing Presents. Now Playing Presents is somebody I still listen to to this day. But it was a movie review podcast. And in 2009, when I went on this trip, somehow I stumbled across them reviewing every Friday the 13th. Of course, in 2009, the Friday the 13th reboot was coming out. So that's why they were doing it. It was like a countdown to the reboot. And then after they reviewed, each episode was dedicated to one of the Friday 13th, and then at the end of it, they ranked them all. So that was my introduction to podcasts, and that's not like, it didn't like start a fire of me searching for podcasts, because again, if you took a smartphone out of your hand, I I couldn't tell you what kind of phone I was using in 2009, but it was either a flip phone or something similar. It had the game Snake on it, if it had any games at all. But you couldn't just do what you can do today. So I, I don't remember how I found Now Playing Presents podcast, but I sure didn't come home and start looking for a whole bunch of other podcasts. But I did stick with Now Playing Presents. And my phone today, I could pull it out of my pocket right now, and you will find not only the, the newer episodes of Now Playing Presents, but you would still find the Friday the 13th retro, retrospective. Because I keep it on there. It's something about we all have that when we find something, that one thing that we just love that kind of takes us back to to why we like something. So I keep it on there. And every, about once every two or three years, I'll run through it. They, they started off with pretty short episodes. And, of course, now if you get on there, they, their episodes are typically about an hour and a half, two hours. And they've done every franchise under the sun. They went from Friday the 13th. And I don't know if they did it before or after because, like I said, I just I, I stumbled across them. But then I, I made sure I listened to their Halloween retrospective, their Nightmare on Elm Street retrospective. They've done all the Marvel movies. They've done all the James Bond movies. Uh, everything they've done, I've, I've stuck with them and I've listened to. And so over the last, probably, that was in 2009, about whenever I did finally get an iPhone, I did eventually start listening to podcasts. And again, today it's a lot easier to find them. I don't even remember how we got music on our iPods. Didn't, didn't we have to plug them into a computer, download music or stuff to the computer, then put all that stuff from computer to your iPod, that was quite a uh, quite a process we used to have to go to. And I, and I remember having to find the music. I'm sure there's some people out there that remember Napster. I never used Napster, FBI. Uh, yes, I did. No, I didn't. But, and then there was also, I remember, it doesn't feel like that long ago, We used to I used to find YouTube videos of songs and then take the audio, con- convert it to a whatever, MP3 or whatever, move it to your iTunes, Make your playlist in your iTunes. Put the playlist onto your iPod. Man, have times changed. It's like I always tell my sons. that They will... I'm not going to say they'll regret it because you don't regret things you've never experienced, but the fact that they might not ever experience going into a video store on a Friday after school and spending 30 minutes to an hour looking at all of the VHS boxes on the shelf to decide which ones they wanted to take home that weekend is... Uh, I mean, it's a crying shame. That is hands down one of the best experiences of my childhood. Well, I don't feel quite the same about moving music from the internet or the World Wide Web to my whatever phone I was using. That was a process I don't think I'm going to miss ever. 
So anyway, as I started being able to find more podcasts, I stuck in that same category. I was always looking for other people that reviewed the movies that I loved, which again, I love all movies, but I'm a scary movie junkie. And so since then, I have come across Halloweenies, which they have done. They just finished the Scream franchise with the most recent Scream 2022 coming out, but they they started, obviously. I'm sure you can tell by the name. I believe they have a Stephen King Losers Club podcast. I have never listened to it, but they decided, I think, one year to, to do the Halloween franchise. And I believe, just like with the 2009 Friday the 13th, that accumulated... Um, with the Friday the 13th reboot. I believe they did their Halloween franchise retrospective to end when 2018's Halloween reboot came out. They called it Halloween because of the director. Um, and then, of course, a couple years later, they came back and added Halloween Kills to it. But I think they planned to just do that one year, but it was such a hit. I think the next year they went ahead and knocked out Nightmare on Elm Street, and then the next year they knocked out Friday the 13th. And then they just did Scream. I believe they're about to do an Evil Dead retrospective next year. And they do it the whole year. Like, whatever whatever they pick lasts the whole year. So, like, with Scream, there's not enough Scream movies to go a whole year. So they found ways to work in, like, Randy's picks and stuff like that. So Halloweenies was one. I found a couple other Friday the 13th ones I listened to. I listened to a lot that are like mine that are um, not as professionally made. I am This would be as amateur as amateur can be. But... Then I kind of shifted towards, I mean, you obviously are going to listen to podcasts about things that you are interested in. And my top two things that make me happy are movies, specifically horror movies and football, specifically Florida State Seminole football. And so I really got heavy, heavy into that, especially over the last year. I found things called the No Cast, Wake Up War Chant, Built for Playmakers, um, just all kinds of stuff about Florida State football. And so I'm sitting there one day thinking, you know, we're all going to be dead soon. I'm 48 years old. I figured that I am at least, if this was the mile relay, I have, if I have not handed off to the third leg, I am about to. I'm at least finishing up the second leg, about to hand off to the third leg. And why not do one? Because let's be real, who cares if anybody ever listens to it? Um, I've, I've I've gone 48 years without making money off a podcast. I don't plan on starting now, so I just decided this this year to do it for fun. So, one of the one of the podcasts I listen to is Built for Playmakers, and it sounds like a really cool guy, as we all do. We all sound like really nice people, right? And his name was Kelvin Hunt, so I just reached out to him and started kind of visiting with him briefly about what mics he used and what all this stuff and that stuff. And so, you know, I put together a little homemade very amateur system right here and decided this this year my goal is going to be to start a podcast then the next thing came to well, what am I going to talk about because I start just like I do everything and just like you guys probably do when you're going to start something you don't know what to do you YouTube it or Google it that's what I do with everything uh, my parents they uh they still use flip phones they do have internet but uh, they'll ask me a lot of questions, a lot of technology questions or questions about anything. If I don't know it, know it, I Google it or I YouTube it. So I start Googling and YouTubing how to make podcasts. And of course, there's a lot of stuff just like anything that you, you don't think about. But I have me a little setup here and, um, you know, that's what we're rolling with. But I had to pick a topic according to everybody. You got to pick a topic. You got to find a niche because you want people to want to listen to you. But I had a problem with that because uh, I didn't want to pick just one topic. And so <laughs> my plan was to make one podcast called ACOS, and I came up with that in the middle of the night one night that stands for all kinds of stuff. My plan was to uh, just talk a little bit about everything, but that doesn't necessarily work that great because uh it's not going to be possible for, for people to find it. So one of the things I discovered about podcasting is if you ever wanted to get it out anywhere, you got to have a host, okay? And so just like I did with everything else, I started Googling and watching videos over the best podcasting host because you can't, or I don't know how to get it out to Apple Podcasts, to Spotify, to all those places with without it. And so I'm looking at hosts, and of course, I'm originally going to try the free one, you know, but I started reading about it, and then... It sounds like there are several that are not that expensive. 
that um, might do a little bit more, might make things a little easier. So I start kind of moving in that direction. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to do was talk about all kinds of stuff. And a lot of the hosts I found, you could buy a plan that helped you get your podcast pushed out, but you had to buy another plan for another podcast and another plan for another podcast. And by that point, I had kind of realized if I'm going to talk about all kinds of stuff, there ain't going to be a way for anybody to find me if they're interested. Let's say I'm talking about sports, but they're interested in movies. They're never going to find me. So I decided to make several podcasts all called ACOS, and I am at three. So I found me a podcast host, and I would think you say it's Spreaker. It's spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, that you can host unlimited podcasts. Now, they, it's about the same amount of money, so I thought, well, this one fits me pretty good. So I've got three ACOS podcasts, and this is going to be the intro on all three of them. So if you have stumbled across this new ACOS podcast, but you've listened to one of the other ACOS podcasts, you can immediately skip this episode and go to the next one. So the three things I'm talking about, I got three podcasts right now. ACOS Movie Night, which we're going to review movies. ACOS SMF, which spans, stands for sports, mostly football. And we'll talk about all sports. We'll talk about mostly football. And within football, we're going to talk a lot about Florida State, but I didn't want to limit it just to Florida State. And then we got ACOS Dad Academy because I'm a divorced dad of two amazing boys. And I kind of want to talk about some of the things that I, that I go through, that we all go through, not just a, a divorced dad, but any divorced parent or any parent, period. And so I made one podcast for each of those topics and I put them all out there and I'm going to put this as the episode one on all three and then they'll kind of all go their own direction. So now that I've kind of tried it a little bit, these are, the, these are the three ones I started with. The very first one I recorded was Dad Academy coaching my own kid because I'm coaching my youngest 11-year-old son, Logan, in peewee basketball. So that one talks a little bit about that. And then I came back a couple weeks after that, and I did my first movie night podcast, ACOS Movie Night, Lord of the Rings Retrospective, because me and Hayden and my other, me and Hayden and Logan, so I have two sons, 13-year-old Hayden, 11-year-old Logan, we spent three weekends going to the Alamo Draft House in Lubbock watching the Lord of the Rings ex extended editions each week. So once they were all done, I did a little movie night review podcast with, with Hayden and Logan, reviewing Lord of the Rings. And then yesterday, I was like, well, hey, let's knock out one more with the other ACOS SMF, Sports Mostly Football. So we went over the 2022 Florida State football schedule. So right now, those are the three ACOS family podcasts that I'm going to put out there. Um, I have yet to publish any of them at this point. I plan on trying to do that tomorrow night. I don't really know how that's going to look. Uh, according to Spreaker's uh, website, it is super easy and it just automatically will push it out to all of the podcast places. Nothing's that easy and we all know that. But I do hope soon within the next 24 to 72 hours that I do figure out how to push these three podcasts out to all of the major spots people listen to podcasts. And that's how we got here. Um, there's music on the beginning of end of all of them. And there's a little intro and outro on the beginning and end of all of them. I don't know if that's good or bad. The music was done by my son, Hayden. Um, I have been completely off social media for over a year now, but I did make a Twitter account for this called ACOS at ACOS podcast. And that's at capital A, capital K, capital O, capital S, capital P. And then the odd cast is little letters, capital ACOS, I'm sorry, at ACOS podcast. Um, it obviously has zero followers because I've just created it and nobody knows about it. But, you know, in a perfect world, there are some other dads or parents out there that want, you know, maybe they have some good topics to discuss on Dad Academy. Maybe there's some other Florida State fans because, guys, there's a lot of people that know more about Florida State football than I do. Maybe they want to, you know, reach out and ask some questions about that or correct me on that. Um, and, the movie night ones are just really where I want to hang my hat because that's how I got into wanting to do this podcasting. And I'll also say, if, if, it, if it works out perfectly, the movie night one, I'll always have a host. I've only hosted my boys, Hayden and Logan, and they were sitting right next to me with my one microphone and we were moving it back and forth. But I've got some friends here. 
in town that love movies as much as I do, and I would love to have them on the Movie Night Podcast. So my hope is that each ACOS gets one episode per month. There's a Dad Academy per month, there's a Movie Night per month, and there is an SMF episode every month. Uh, We will focus mostly on the Movie Night Podcast on scary movies, because that's what makes the world turn round. Uh, I would really like at some point to try to track down people across the world that have never seen certain movies and watch them and then get those people on there to be my guests. In other words, if there are people in this earth that have never watched the Friday the 13th franchise, first off, I'm sorry, your life is incomplete. But secondly, I think that would be pretty cool to have them as the guest reviewer uh, as we go through. And I do plan to do that, go through whole franchises. So when this stuff, when I push this out, I don't know how it's going to look on Apple. or I've never, I don't have Spotify. I used to, but I, 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 everything I look at is on Apple. And I, in my head, I'm thinking you can just type in A-K-O-S and all of them will pop up. So if you just love the sound of my voice, you can listen to all of them. But let's say you just want to listen to the movie night ones. You can just subscribe to ACOS Movie Night. If you're a big Florida State fan or football fan or sports fan, As I am, especially college football, you can subscribe to ACOS SMF. If you're a a dad or a mom that just likes to to hear other people's experiences when it comes to raising their kids, you can subscribe to ACOS Dad Academy. That's my thought. That's my big process. I mean, that's that's how I think this will go, but who really knows? All right, guys. So welcome. Um, They're amateur because I'm an amateur. And there's a disclaimer with everything. I am not an expert on anything. I just like stuff. And so if you're listening to this podcast and you think it could sound better, well, you're probably right. If When you hear us talk about Lord of the Rings, you're going to think to yourself, if you're a massive fan, well, they don't know everything about it. And you know what? You're probably right. If you live in Tallahassee, Florida and have had season tickets to Florida State football your entire life, guess what? You're going to know more than me. That's all right. That's what the, the world we live in is. Every, this is a, I tell my sons, we are living in the best age of creativity that we've ever lived in. My oldest son, Hayden, is extremely, what would be the word? He's extremely musical, but he's also really good with computers. And if, if you guys will go back, you know, I grew up mostly as a kid in the 80s and early 90s. If you wanted to, let's say, make a video game, that still sounded like a very far-fetched dream. Like there would have to be some privilege that I was not privy to and a lot of money and computers and things that didn't necessarily just exist in every living room across America. But that is not the case anymore. If, If you have a computer and internet, You can almost do anything you want to do. And that's what I tell my son all the time. The constraints that that kept a lot of us from just doing don't exist anymore. And so I'm applying that to myself. I got a computer. I bought a mic. I had no clue what a pop filter was, but I have one now. And so I'm going to do a podcast. I'm going to do several. And I don't want to focus on just one thing. So we're going to focus on all kinds of stuff. So to any listener that ever comes or stumbles across this, welcome to ACOS. Thank you for listening. I am your host and will be your host as we travel these little journeys together. Thank you for listening. Have a great time.